So today I'm going to demo a couple of external modules that, um, that are new to REDCap. They came out, I think, last week, um, and I just installed them onto REDCap this morning and tested them out, uh, and I thought they would be uh, helpful for you guys. Uh, the first one is going to be the file upload external module, and what this module does is I don't know if you were all familiar with the file upload field, but when you create a, uh, a file upload field for people to upload files, it just gives a link for you to click on and download, and I'll show you that. Um, but what this module does, and we can look at it in the documentation here, it's very simple. It just allows you to display the uploaded file as an inline embedded object in the form. So if you have a PDF that you've attached, like a consent form or something, the person doesn't have to click on the link to download it. It'll actually show up and they can view it within the data entry form. And you can see here that there's a few um, default types that it accepts, PDF, JPEG, ping, uh, but it says here that it, other compatible HTML types should work. I've tried, um, CSV and it displays as a text file. Uh, I've just I've done the text file and it just shows up as text. Uh, and I'll show you these as well. The the uh, Word doc file won't show up. So if you have a Word document, it won't show up. It'll actually, when the form loads, it'll open the file explorer and try to prompt you to download it. And I'll demonstrate that. So it's very easy. Um, all you do is enable it. So you would just go to enable a module. And as Terry's pointed out before now, you guys can do this yourselves. Um, and you would just look for file, upload, embed. Do, do, do. And it must not be on the list because I already have it uh, enabled. But you would just enable it. There's no configure, or sorry, I take that back. There's a little bit of configuration, um, but it's very simple. So let me show you the designer that I have and the examples. Um, so I just created a, a quick data entry form here um, to show you the differences between the non-embedded and the embedded uh, for a PDF and a JPEG and then just a generic file upload that I can show you the, the other ones uh, that I was demonstrating. So the only thing that you need to do in your configuration is you have to have this field, the one that you want to embed, you have to add it in the module in the configuration. So this one I haven't added, this file embedded here. So we'll add that right now. Uh, and we'll go to external modules and I'll click on the configure. Um, and you'll see here uh, files to display. So we would want the PDF embedded and we want the JPEG embedded and we want the file embedded. So now those are going to be linked to this module, and so they'll show up. So now let's go ahead and add a record. And for the PDF, uh, I have one here. Um, for the red cap consent that Terry showed last week. And I tested this specifically because uh, I was worried that a PDF, maybe if it embedded, it would only show one page. So I picked this because it has multiple pages and it actually displays, it's like a little uh, window that has scroll bars. Um, and so we'll upload this file again. And then I have a JPEG that I'll upload. And then I'll just show you um, I'll show you the the text document first. It's just a simple line of text. Nope. Nope. 
So none of this is going to show up until you save the form. So if I click save and stay, then it'll refresh and you'll be able to see all these things now. So you'll see here for the non-embedded PDF, it's just a link that if you click it, it, t it prompts you to save it. Um, but if we scroll down here, this is for the PDF embedded version. And if you, you can scroll through it and view your PDF this way, and then for the beach image, nice little beach. You guys are all stuck at home. Figured I'd put up something nice. Uh, same thing. It would just show here as a link, but now it pops up as an embedded image. Uh, and then the text file, it just shows you that this is a text. This is just a text. That's the, the content of the text file. Um, and that's it pretty much for this. So if we go back to, actually, if I scroll back down here um, to the upload and just remove this file. I can show you the CSV. Most of you are probably used to opening a CSV in Excel, so you get it as a table format, but this shows you what it looks like natively in the text document. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long to upload. I think I picked the big one. Uh, so let me go ahead and cancel that. Um, Yeah, that thing was like 26 megs. Would have taken forever. So that's this is the CSV. So if we refresh this and scroll down, um, this is the CSV in information. Um, and so, and I, I haven't tested to see if you can edit in here. You probably can't. Um, it's just uploaded. Um, and then I'll show you how it looks when you try to import a or try to attach a um, Word document. So as soon as you refresh, it wants you to download the document. So it doesn't even give you a chance to click on a link or anything. So I would recommend not using a Word document um, and trying to upload it that way. But you can test out other other file types. I would recommend, you know, mostly you're going to do PDFs, I'm sure, or some, some common image type. Uh, I wouldn't get too crazy. Um, but what I would do is if I would check to see if there was, if it was able to be embedded by just, uh, adding it and then seeing how it, how it looks. Uh, but I thought this was really nice, especially for PDFs. Um, if you have a consent document and you don't want the, the user to have to download it, to read it, um, and take them away from the survey or take them away from the, the form. Uh, it just shows right there, and then I think you can, and then you can still save it uh, as a PDF if you wanted to, or you can still, I believe you can still click it up here and download it there as well. So it still gives you the option to download it, but it gives you the the, the option to view it in the window, uh, which I thought was really nice.